I was just thinking, how would I describe you to someone who's never met you? Fearless? Clever? Dashing? No. I think it's your kindness that really sets you apart, actually. You always try to help people, and it's uncanny how you can always tell when someone needs your aid, too. I never did get how. We've got enough to worry about right now. Stay focused. I'll watch your back. No! Now, can't it wait? This better be important. Are you sure that's something you want? This isn't like picking a new outfit. You'll be a creature of the night, like me. You're all talk. If you want more casual conversation, let's do it while we're not sneaking. Are you sure that's something you want? This isn't like picking a new outfit. You'll be a creature of the night, like me. All right then, hold still. I read this book once. Oh, that was ages ago, really. And it was already falling apart. It had a very sweet love story between a woman and a vampire. Of course, when I was very young, I had a soft spot for romance. It was so silly, too. The vampire glowed in the sun. Whoever came up with that hogwash? Oh, I was just thinking. You really stand out, you know that? A little bit like a Nern root, really. Very annoying at times, but also quite rare. <laughs> Please do look around. And sure precious. And like the Nern root, people tend to underestimate you. A measly 10 septums. But not me. I can spot a treasure when I see one. Yes? <laughs> oh, what is it? Hey, so... I don't think this inn has beds for the both of us. It's all right. I'll just wait here. The moment I met you, I could sense some kind of power. Unique and unlike anything I've seen before. Turns out you have the blood of gods coursing through your veins. You should also know that I do not appreciate being shouted at. You probably don't feel it, but just try not to hit me the next time we get into a fight with some people, okay? I definitely wouldn't want to be hurled halfway across the continent of Tamriel. Are you even taking this seriously? I also wouldn't like to accidentally drain you to a pulp. Good. Glad we sorted that one out. Really? Why would you want to hire a bard? Don't you already have one in front of you? But hey, they definitely liven up the atmosphere. I've been thinking about an ideal home for us. You know, somewhere to settle when we're done adventuring. I know this might sound odd, but I wouldn't mind living in a cave. 
Or a grove, really. Something like the Ancestor Glade. Do you think we could have a nice homestead in a place like that someday? And no, I do not consent to any potion or mind-altering thing to be done to me. I prefer to be myself, thank you very much. Though, I would like to see if we could give a potion to Camilla, and have her love both Fendel and Sven. Actually, never mind. That was a terrible idea. Sometimes the daedric tendencies in me just think of these really stupid things. And hopefully I don't blow this place up. Let's make some more stories. How does it feel to be the mighty hero of Skyrim? Distinguished for such tasks as... Being a courier. Being a courier. Being a courier. And lastly... Being a courier. <laughs> what? It's true. Almost everything you've done revolves around that. Go to this place, kill some things, pick something up, and deliver it to someone. Being a daughter of Cold Harbor, I can go without blood longer than other vampires. That, and I can also rest to regain my energy. It doesn't fully satiate the appetite, but it staves off hunger for a while. So, don't worry. I won't go feral on you or anything, just because I haven't had a daily meal. You know, you could have waited a bit longer. Talk about a fish out of water. That's why I need you to show me around this wonderful land. Be a good guide for this old relic. Well, you being a part of a secret death cult is kind of exciting. It's also somewhat ironic, if you think about it. Imagine this on a book cover. The tales of Serana and her charming companion, who was also a stealthy assassin. Something I definitely want to read. I was just thinking of how far we've come. From when you first met me in the crypt, to where we are now. Through all our hardships and struggles, we've made it, and it was worth it. I'm glad it all I happened, though. You... <laughs> You're the love of my life. What a wonderful fate for us. Don't you agree? <laughs>